Welcome to this special edition of Exo News. I'm Michael Sala. In 1963, President John F. Kennedy launched a groundbreaking initiative to get the Soviet Union and the USA to cooperate in joint space and lunar missions. In the background of this initiative, leaked documents reveal that Kennedy instructed the CIA to release classified UFO files as part of the cooperative space effort with the Soviet Union. If Kennedy had succeeded, there would have been joint space missions to the moon and eventual public release of classified UFO files. President Kennedy's assassination quickly led to the abandonment of his joint moon mission with the Soviet Union and ended his administration's effort to force the CIA to release classified UFO files. In a speech before the United Nations General Assembly on September 20, 1963, President Kennedy stunned the audience when he appealed to the USSR to explore the possibility of a joint expedition to the moon. Finally, in a field where the United States and the Soviet Union have a special capacity in the field of space, there is room for new cooperation, for further joint efforts in the regulation and exploration of space. I include among these possibilities a joint expedition to the moon. Putting into effect his commitment for joint space missions, President Kennedy issued National Security Action Memorandum Number 271 on November 12, 1963, with the subject header cooperation with the USSR on outer space matters. In it, he asked the NASA Administrator James Webb to develop a cooperative program with the Soviet Union on outer space and a lunar landing program. In addition to the Confidential National Security Action Memorandum, Kennedy issued a more highly classified top secret memorandum to the director of the CIA, John McCone. Dated the same day, November 12, 1963, the subject header of the file was Classification Review of All UFO Intelligence Files Affecting National Security. The top secret memorandum instructed John McCone to share the CIA's classified UFO files with NASA and eventually the USSR. These files were involving UFO cases with national security implications that were separate to those cases released under Project Blue Book. The existence of a classified set of UFO files held by the US Air Force was confirmed by a memorandum dated October 20, 1969 by Brigadier General Bolander who acknowledged reports of unidentified flying objects which could affect national security are not part of the Blue Book system. President Kennedy asked McCone for an interim report reviewing all classified UFO files to be prepared by no later than February 1, 1964. It's important to note that the CIA memorandum refers to the National Security Action Memo issued to Webb on the same day, even though the leaked top secret memorandum to the CIA has not been officially acknowledged. There is no question about the legitimacy of the National Security Action Memorandum. The November 12, 1963 NSAM clearly showed that Kennedy had decided to cooperate with the USSR on outer space matters. If Kennedy had been warned about the dangers of future conflict with the Soviet Union and or with extraterrestrial life, then sharing classified UFO files was an obvious way to implement the National Security Action Memorandum. National Security Action Memo 271 and the associated top secret CIA memorandum issued on November 12, 1963 are evidence that Kennedy firmly linked cooperation with the USSR on outer space matters with the release of classified UFO files. Kennedy was convinced that the CIA was the lead agency for ensuring the release of UFO files. This suggests that the US Air Force and other military services were secretly required to release UFO cases with national security implications to the CIA. These two documents confirm that 10 days before his death, Kennedy was commanding the CIA to share access to its classified UFO files.